Hi there, my name is Ben Painter from Circle Canoe Games, and this is a walkthrough video of Paint Rollers. Paint Rollers is a roll and write set collection game where you get to be an artist trying to make a name for yourself. You're going to be rolling dice to mix paint and using those paints in order to complete paintings that hopefully will earn you the respect of the art world so that you can get the title of real artist. Okay, so let's get into setting up the game and then into gameplay. First, each player needs to get their own copy of the score sheet as well as a pen or a pencil. Next, you're going to need to deal out some cards in the center area of the table where everyone can see clearly. The last one, you're gonna draw out and put face up with your other cards. Okay, this will become your draw pile throughout the game. Last thing you need to do to set up is just get the dice ready to go and you're ready to begin the game. So the game starts with whoever has painted something most recently and continues in rounds until the game ends. On a player's turn, they are able to do two actions in the following order. They are able to complete paintings. Next, they are able to mix paint. In the player's first or maybe even second turn, they're probably not gonna have enough paint written down in order to complete any paintings. So for way of example, we're gonna start with mixing paint and then we're gonna look at what it means to complete a painting. All you have to do to mix paint is take your dice, roll, and see what results you get. To start out with, this is really easy, but once the colors start getting filled in and you start writing in uh, this three, right, and this two, then you are going to start to run out of areas that you can use. So you are also able to make color combinations. In this case, I would say if this were already written in here, I would say, well, then I can make a yellow green five. You combine the colors to make the new color and you combine the numbers on those two. So this would be a yellow green five. I'm gonna make this a five. And so I've mixed four colors. A few important things to notice about the color wheel. First, there are these three numbers here that tell you the ounces or the amount of paint each ring gives you. So if you fill in a color with the inner ring, that's giving you one ounce of that color of paint. On the cards, the minimum amount of paint required is written at the bottom here next to the colors. And so in this case, I need at least three ounces of total paint between these two colors. All the second ring uh, numbers are worth two ounces of paint. And the outer ring, the highest numbers, are worth three ounces of paint. So let's say though, these are the paints that I want to mix. I've written them in. At that point, all the other players get to choose one of these mixed paints that I've made and add that to their own color wheel. Then play passes to the next player and they begin their complete paintings action. Now there are a couple ways to modify the dice. The simplest way is to simply add water. You can change the face value of any die by two. And the other way that you can modify dice is if you've completed any commission cards. For every commission card that you've completed, you get to reroll one die on every turn. Okay, so let's take a look at the complete a painting action, which again is the first thing you must do on your turn before you mix paints. So if I wanted to complete these two paintings, I would just look over at my color wheel and say yellow and violet I have right here. I would just simply cross them out and take that into that player's gallery. Uh, likewise, this one, I would say blue, violet, and yellow, orange. Uh, okay, I have a blue, violet, two ounces, so I would cross that out. So I have two ounces, and uh, I have a one ounce and a two ounce of yellow, orange. And so in order to be the most efficient, I would choose the one ounce, and so I would add that as well to my gallery. A player can complete as many paintings as they are able on their turn, and when they're done, the painting that is the farthest to the bottom right is discarded, and paintings move forward in a Z pattern to fill in the empty space. Then once again, they would move on to the mixing paint action. Okay, so play continues like that. The end of the game is triggered when one player has completed six original paintings. That's not including commissions. After that, every player gets to take one more turn. And finally, you get to tally up your scores and see who the real artist is. So let's take a look at this final scoring process. Essentially, you're going to start at the start scoring section 
and just follow along the path, filling in each of the charts and then totaling up your score for your real artist score. You would compare that number to the other players and the player with the highest number is declared the real artist. Yay, congratulations. So this has been a quick walkthrough of paint rollers. There's a few details that you're definitely going to need to look at the rules to understand how commissions work and other parts of the game, but this is the core elements of how the game works. 